Do you want to take advantage of a lot of light buffs while also being able to consistently suspend targets? Well, check out this new suspension build that I made for my Prismatic Warlock. Uh, it's been really awesome using the new exotic chest piece for Warlock. But before I get into everything that you need to know for this build, uh, follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Give a thumbs up on this video. Let me know something you're interested in seeing down below, whether it's Hunter, Warlock, or Titan. Uh, subscribe become a member and also make sure you're checking out the dim link down below so you're able to just copy this setup really easily or check out the maxroll.gg page where i'll have this build set up later now let's get right on into it now we always like to start off with the exotic for this setup and it's gonna be the my, my thai doxia i literally had to get like google translate to help me figure out how to say this word uh, but it reads uh silo sticks uh targets damaged by arcane needle emit a suspending detonation when defeated and landing multiple arcane needles on the same target immediately triggers a larger more powerful detonation now that's going to be all of the stacks that you have of it to immediately make that detonation uh but the second part of this is something i really do enjoy defeating suspended targets grants melee energy and your arcane needle are strong against barrier champions now when it says it's strong against a barrier champion that means whenever the barrier like actually pops its bubble uh you're going to just shoot one singular arcane needle at it and it's going to stun and pop that bubble this isn't it's so stupid how good this is uh for the fact that it's giving you a free intrinsic you know champion stunning for one singular um, melee charge so I really do enjoy it when it comes to prismatic warlock in the subclass and everything you need for this setup first up for our super we're gonna do song of flame a uh, big fan of this just because again uh, it lets you kind of just take advantage of a lot of different abilities it kind of gives you intrinsic uh, barrier stun while also giving you intrinsic unstoppable stun uh, unstoppable in the way of being able to just like constantly stack those uh, you know incineration snaps and you're like flying a bird that you know hits targets and then scorches them as well uh, you're able to just take on barrier uh, unstoppables that way uh, but you're able to take on barriers in the way of the fact that your weapons are immediately going to become radiant uh, you're going to become radiant so you're able to instantly you know handle those if for some reason you have run out of your arcane needles for our abilities we're going to go with phoenix dive i've always been a big fan of this just because it's fast it's easy you just pop it real fast uh, you get that wonderful cure that you need and then you're able to just move on from there uh, you're not having to stand in one spot and just kind of uh, be locked down for our melee we're going to be obviously using those arcane needles now they're great as is because you get multiple stacks of them up to three uh, but it's also really great for the fact that it's going to add unraveling to targets so that you're able to take advantage of all those like little needles that are going to be flying around damaging everybody uh, and ensuring that you're going to, you know, have a good darkness debuff out there. For our grenade, we're using Storm Grenade. Big fan of this. It's just been juicing a whole hell of a lot recently. It's just a really good option uh, for just overall damage. For our aspects, we're going to be running Feed the Void. Defeat a target with the ability to activate Devour. Uh, we always love Devour because it gives us that health and grenade energy. Uh, and your Devour effects are improved, restoring additional health and grenade energy. So, again, you're constantly being able to keep up that great melee with uh, Mitotoxia, if I said that right again, I have no idea. Uh, and then also being able to keep up good grenade and health with Devour. Our second aspect's gonna be Hellion. I really do enjoy this for the fact that I'm able to just like, you know, do that Phoenix dive to the ground real fast and then get that little, you know, mortar that's just gonna be constantly shooting, uh, doing additional light damage, doing just additional damage as is, obviously scorching targets and then eventually igniting them. When it comes to the fragments you need for the setup, first up, Facet of Courage, big fan of this. You are going to be, you know, doing a lot of darkness debuff and raveling suspension uh stuff like that so it is going to help juice up those effects of things like your uh, song of flame or your storm grenade fast and devotion defeating targets afflicted with stasis or strand debuffs uh grants bonus light transcendence energy uh we're mainly going to be using a darkness weapon for the setup so our darkness bar is going to be able to be you know juiced up pretty easily so this is a great way to just kind of you know feed into that a little bit more and ensure that we're able to keep up that transcendence all the time I will say this one's a bit more of a flex pick, uh, but at the same time, I think it's really valuable. Facet Protection is a lock-in no matter what all the time. Uh, while surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage, and while transcendent, that's obviously a juice of effect. Uh, this is great because it's going to do multiple different things. One, uh, it's just going to help us out as is with our damage reduction, but uh, we are going to have Galvanic Armor on on our artifacts, so uh, kind of being able to double dip into that uh, damage reduction is really nice. Facet of Dominance, your Void Grenade weakens targets, and your Arcanade jolts targets, obviously getting that easy jolt off. 
uh, is really nice. Also for the fact it's able to obviously stun overloads, but it is gonna start up that effect of amplification for us so that we're able to take advantage of that as a uh, light uh, buff as well. And then finally, Facet Balance. I really like this one just for the fact that I'm able to kind of keep up my uh, melee and my grenade when I'm not in that good transcendence energy. Rapidly defeating targets with light damage gets me that melee energy and defeating targets with darkness damage grants grenade energy. Obviously, using the call as our primary for most of the time, we're gonna be just mainly getting uh, that grenade, which is great for this entire setup. But again, taking advantage of things like a energy, um, you know, secondary weapon, something like that, that's a light subclass. Uh, I'm using the forbearance for myself. Uh, does really well for that. When it comes to the weapons you're gonna be using for this setup, I always recommend the call right now. I'm a big double special brain guy right now. I just think this is a great option. Uh, also putting on demo on it is really great for the fact that it's gonna help keep up that good grenade energy for us. And then hatchling as well. Uh, I just like hatchling for the fact that again, it's just adding another like darkness element to the setup and able to take advantage of the debuffs it provides. Again, before I mentioned, I was using like forbearance uh, for this setup. Uh, you can use that. Uh, you can double dip, use the Axel Lucana, and able to, you know, double dip into that dealer's choice perk so you get your super back a whole lot faster. Uh, it's just pretty much whatever is best for you. I will say though, I definitely like using Microcosm for this setup. I've become a Microcosm stan recently. Uh, it's great for the fact that it's able to just do a lot of great damage against barriers. I'm able to depend on it for that. Uh, it's a great just bossing weapon against champions and everything. Uh, but also the fact that it like intrinsically kind of has that dealer's choice perk built into it. Uh, it's going to really help us out with that uh, generation of super energy. Now, when it comes to the mods and everything you're going to be putting on your armor, first up on the helmet, I uh, have a special ammo finder and a heavy ammo finder, obviously, to keep up that good uh, ammo economy between using, like, you know, a trace rifle that you can use as a primary for your heavy. Uh, it's really great, but also being able to keep up uh, a lot of good ammo for my call. And then also I'm using a strand siphon again, because I'm mainly just using uh, that the call as my primary. So just being able to take advantage of that as much as I can. I'm not worried about putting on any like super generation mods here, just because again, the call itself, the microcosm, are great at generating super energy. For our gloves, I'm running one firepower. Now I know this does have a 10 second cooldown, but like honestly, orb generation isn't too bad for the setup. I will say this one's a bit of a flex that so you can swap around if you want, but I do enjoy just having that ability to take advantage of orb generation every couple seconds. Uh, momentum transfer, doing damage against uh, targets with my grenades and obviously give me melee energy so that I'm able to, you know, use the arcane needle more and boltering detonation, same thing, but just for my class ability. Chest piece is just all resistance mods, depending on what I'm needing at that time. On our legs, I am running a double strand siphon here. On our legs, first up, recuperation, great for just constantly generating a little bit extra health, especially when you don't have devour available to you in that moment. And then a double strand weapon surge, just so that I'm able to get a little bit more damage from my call. Uh, since it will be my primary, I am able to, you know, just kind of like sit down there and mow with like against bosses with it. Uh, it's a great option and we will have a whole lot of orbs generated for us to kind of feed into this and then our class item a reaper because whenever i do that you know phoenix side which is pretty often i'm able to take advantage of an extra overpower afterwards outreach so that whenever i do that i'm getting a little bit extra melee energy back and then powerful traction to pull in all those orbs around me whenever i use my phoenix side now when it comes to the artifact and everything you're gonna be using here second column if you are gonna be running that call overcharged armory and winning hand are important so they're able to kind of juice up that dealer's choice perk for the third column the biggest one is going to be threaded blast you are going to be creating a whole lot of tangles out of this so again especially whenever you're using that call uh shooting the tangle is going to create that war mind cell like effect that's just going to nuke everyone around you fourth column galvanic armor again so that whenever you're using that prismatic subclass uh we're going to have extra damage reduction while amplified and then radiant orb so whenever we just pick up an orb power we're going to become radiant and finally in the last column transference so that i'm able to get that extra grenade melee and uh damage while i'm transcendent and then weapon final blows during that is going to just give me some energy back and then shield crush uh because we're going to be taking advantage of you know stuff like amplified and radiant pretty often uh, so we're able to get that grenade energy pack. Now, how this is able to handle champions and everything of the sort. First up for our barriers, obviously, uh, the Mitodoxia is going to be able to handle that whenever you uh, just use an Arcane Needle against a bubble. Uh, but obviously, you still have uh, ability to become Radiant through your Artifact mod, so that's going to help you out there. Unstoppable, again, just suspending with our, you know, new exotic item. Um, using all three of those needles against the target is going to do that. Uh, but we also have advantage of doing like ignitions through our super. 
uh, as well as, you know, just being able to use our sidearm, the call uh, as our unstoppable son. And for overload, obviously that grenade's gonna do that jolting effect. Uh, and you can also take advantage of your uh, transcendence grenade, uh, being able to slow and suppress targets as well. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you guys really enjoy it. Again, let me know something you're interested in seeing down below and like the video helps us out a whole hell of a lot. Subscribe and become a member and then follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Thanks so much. Hope you guys have a great night, day, or whatever it may be.